Quest 2 has a V40 update. Let's go ahead and check it out. They start off hot with the app unlock. Starting with V40, you have more granular control. The new app lock unfeature enables you to put specific games and apps behind an unlock pattern so that somebody is younger that they can't really access your Quest 2. They're not going to be accessing other games on your account that aren't age appropriate. This is an important security feature for any and all MetaQuest devices and should hopefully prove a useful starting point for parents as we begin rolling out our parental supervision tool in the coming months so much more safety that quest is touching base on which is huge because they did have another uh thing of uh, essence of just bullying and harassing and and so and with the metaverse everything is just open right now so the more constrictions we can have restrictions we can have is going to be better and better optimized so adults can be with adults and possibly kids can just hang out much more with kids instead of intertwining those worlds together so very good on the safety features i would say it says once the app is locked, you'll need to input your pattern every time you want to unlock and launch it. Find out how to create and manage your unlock pattern here. Also added secure payments. So those of you using 3D secure to keep your credit card payments safe, your lives are about to get a bit easier. Previously, 3DS authorization could only happen in the Oculus mobile app. But now starting with V40, you'll be able to make payments with a 3DS enabled credit card in VR, including the 3DS authorization step. Though developers will need to opt in to enable 3DS support for their in-app purchases. Now you can keep your payments secure without having to pull off your headset every time you want to download the latest Beat Saber DLC which is awesome. Uh, just the uh, far more just uh, accessibility is gonna make it a lot easier. Uh, more keyboards. Uh, they have already added the Magic Keyboard in V37, but they're now enabling support for the Apple Magic Keyboard with the numeric keypad. We're also They're also adding a new pair of Logitech keyboards, Logitech K375s and Logitech MX keys. So also they make it easier for, for looking for the new manage save keyboard section in the settings menu to track which keyboard models you've added to your headset and make adjustments audio accessibility the accessibility tab in your settings menu is getting a new pair of options to make MetaQuest headsets much more comfortable for people who are hard of hearing which is beautiful I, I, this is awesome to continuously help with people who could uh, who are physically disabled who just have impairments people who have different situations the more unique that vr tends to be the more audience and the more of a community is going to grow so this is huge for everybody else they're adding a mono audio option that enables you to hear the same audio from both the left and right speakers on your headset or from the headphone jack versus the default spatial audio effect we're also enabling you to adjust the balance of the left and right audio channels so for instance you can hear in your right ear and just adjust the balance towards the left to help center the audio or set the slider all the way to the right for better clarity feel free to mess around with it as you can go it just, it just really optimize it and whatever your feeling is i know me myself i do have sensitive ears so i tend not to put stuff really loud and i really favor the spatial while here now they customize and optimize it for so people who are hard of hearing they definitely can have a great time with it now huge on on and quest two's end end-to-end -end encryption for messenger so keeping your information secure is one of our top priorities not just in vr but across meta apps and technologies when people trust that their conversations are truly private they feel safe to express themselves and build stronger online connections so they're testing everything from optional end-to-end -end encryption for messengers one-on-one -on -one messages and calls in vr so whether you're telling your mom about your wedding plans talking echo vr strategy with friends or discussing confidential work projects you can add an extra layer of privacy and security to your personal chats with their technology so lots of safety features end-to-end -end encryption they have audio accessibilities and more keyboards secure payments and app unlock they're very focused here on the safety as the safety takes two of these juggernauts of the update but all over it all i think a lot of people are not going to be too satisfied with this update but again quest 2 is just continuously giving us updates so much respect to them man y'all gotta let me know what y'all think what y'all's favorite update and what is something y'all are looking forward to rolling across what game what are you excited for or just all the content that we share from tutorials and more so make sure you subscribe and stay updated and we could always use y'all's help man i appreciate y'all peace